opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center, gains more control over the e5 square, and strengthens the d4 pawn. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. c4 takes space in the center, controls the d5 square and prepares to develop the knight behind the c pawn. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This prepares the bishop for development. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. Very precise. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This protects the attack pawn. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is a mistake. A solid choice. It is excellent. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is excellent. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a knight. It is an inaccuracy. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This threatens to win a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. Recaptures. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is best. The opposing queen is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is good. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This threatens to win material. It is an inaccuracy. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This lets the opponent capture a queen to win material. It is a mistake. 
intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed Black in that one. The opening was balanced. White overpowered Black in the middle game. 